Gamer Subs is a sugar-free, great-tasting energy formula for gamers and workaholics alike. We here at the Toasty Bros love the energy it provides while tasting great. Want to give it a shot? Get a free trial by using the link down below and use code Toasty Bros on your next full order for 10% off. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here with a very interesting video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Akidio Node, a Thunderbolt 3 external graphics card box. This product has been out on the market for a while now, but the nice people over at Akidio were nice enough to send one out to me to check out. So today, I thought, why not do a little bit of an interesting test? I have a Razer Blade Stealth laptop that rocks an Intel Core i7-6500U, a dual-core mobile processor with Intel HD 520 graphics on board. As far as day-to-day -day use goes, this processor pretty much does the job for me. But one thing is for sure, it is not made for gaming, and in this video, we are going to show that by putting it up against a four-year-old GPU which will be also running over the Thunderbolt connection. But before we do that, let's talk about the Node itself for those who are not familiar with what it does. The Node is a Thunderbolt 3 external GPU enclosure. Using the Thunderbolt 3 standard, graphics cards can run off external PCI cards and get the results near identical performance compared to actually running it on a native PCI slot due to having the near 40 gigabits per second throughput that Thunderbolt 3 offers. The node itself is a big enclosure with a 400 watt SFX power supply to deliver separate power to your GPU of choice. More than enough power for most modern graphics cards. I was originally going to be testing it with the GTX 1080 to see all the great performance that it could provide, but hey, why not put a graphics card that costs a fraction less into the box, cause you know, for the name of science, right? The graphics card being used today, as I mentioned, is a Radeon 7770, a card that I just did a revisit of, if you hit the eye in the top right corner you can check that video out. But one thing to note from that revisit is the fact that this card comes with only 1GB of VRAM. While that being said, it did perform pretty well in CSGO and got decent frame rate averages, so we're going to be using that game for a baseline comparison for today's video. After loading everything up and making sure my laptop was up to date and the node was as well, we got things booted up and we were good to go, it was pretty much a plug and play experience. One thing to note however is the node does not actually provide power over Thunderbolt, so in my case, with my Razer Blade Stealth which charged via Thunderbolt, I was stuck running on battery while using the node because my one Thunderbolt port was taken up by the node. I discussed this with the team over at Akidio and they assured me that a premium model will be coming soon with this capability. The node was actually made to be affordable and reliable for gamers who wanted an easy way to jump into the ever so fast growing eGPU community. And to be fair once again, at under $300, compared to the likes of the Razer Core and other offerings from big names that cost $600 or more, this version may be pretty good for what you're getting, and I think this version of the product could actually be good for something that's not a laptop, like a mini PC with Thunderbolt ports on them. And that's where I can see this being a great value for the money. But enough about the node, let's get right into that showdown, shall we? We loaded up CSGO on the laptop without the GPU using the integrated Intel HD 520 graphics at 1080p max settings on the Razer Blade, and well, we got pretty much unplayable results, not even getting over 20 FPS. While this was not really a surprise to me, I was honestly a little bit shocked to see the performance of the 7770. Speaking of that 7770, we get a pretty great experience, constantly over 60 FPS at 1080p with the same max settings. There were some slight stutters here and there, and I wouldn't call it a great experience for playing competitive CSGO, but it does pass as playable, and if you lower some settings, it would be even more playable. I never would have thought that it would be possible to run an external graphics card using a setup like this, where you can have like a laptop on the go, come home, dock your laptop, and have a full gaming setup. The real future in my mind using this kind of technology would be a laptop with something like a modular CPU and RAM system, we can swap out the CPU for full desktop parts and RAM as well, along with a Thunderbolt 3 port. It'll have someone to have like a workstation laptop with let's say an i7-7700 or even an underclocked R7-1700, and then come home and plug their external GPU with like a GTX 1080 card or something of that level, and be able to play games or do whatever they want with their laptop at night and get that extra CUDA acceleration for more demanding tasks. Honestly, the future is super bright with this technology, and if things keep going forward to being more affordable and readily available, I can see this being a pretty massive trend in the coming years. While there is more of a bump in today's laptop standards to more full-size laptops with full-size GPUs and just cramming as much performance into a laptop as possible, 
Imagine being able to get a really thin and light laptop on a less than premium price and then put that money towards a GPU box that you can easily upgrade. That makes much more sense to me unless you really want to travel with a full bulky gaming machine. To each is their own. But that about wraps things up here guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and comment down below what you think. And if you rock a setup like this or are interested in rocking a setup like this, if you want to pick up one of the Akidio nodes, you can click the link in the description down below to Amazon where you can buy. It gives a little bit of a kickback and helps support the channel. You can also shop on Amazon for other things as well and it also supports the channel as well. And that pretty much wraps things up here guys. And if you like this video, once again, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros, and I'll see you on the next one guys. Peace out.